Breaking news about Hurricane Debbie. The storm has now made landfall in the Big Bend area of Florida. As a Category 1 storm, after intensifying overnight, Debbie is now hitting that region. But the storm is expected to stall over Georgia and South Carolina with the potential for catastrophic flooding and life-threatening storm surge. Now, Debbie's also causing major travel problems. Thousands of flights have been canceled or delayed. Cruise ships have also been rerouted. Faith, Debbie just made landfall there not long ago. What's it like there right now? So, Diane, we're actually in Lake City, Florida, uh, just about an hour, a little over an hour from where uh, the storm made landfall. But we're already feeling the outer bands. You probably just saw the wind gusts here just before you came to me. Uh, there have been periods where it's just dumping rain on us. We're expecting this to get worse throughout the day. In fact, that is the concern here, that as more and more of Debbie moves over this area, that it will be dumping a lot more rain, potentially catastrophic levels of flooding, which is why there are evacuations orders that are in place for homeowners right now. We're in a field where there are literally dozens and dozens of bucket trucks parked around here. They are lined up, ready to go, ready to respond to power outages. They say the winds are stopping them from working right now. So as soon as it gets safe or it's safer for them to get out, they will get out of here and head out and start restoring power. At this moment, we're told there are about 200,000 or so, a little bit more than that, of people across the state of Florida who don't have power. Power. And so as the situation continues, we expect that to um, rise. But the really the number one concern here is the level of flooding that we could potentially see from the storm.